Salama kabisa kwa majina ni David Meyeyo le Mosingo. Eh, niko na wanawake watatu pamoja na mama wangu. Mama wangu ndio mkubwa kwa hii familia. Baba wangu alikuwa na wake sita. Mama wangu ndio mkubwa kwa hii familia. Kwa nyumba yetu tulikuwa vijana wanne na wasichana wawili. Mimi ndio kitinda mimba kwa vijana. Niko na miaka 40 na mbili. David is from Transmara in southern Kenya. His flock of red Maasai sheep has just been awarded second best flock nationwide. Baba wangu aliyaga alikuwa anajua mambo na kifugo mifugo saidi. Yeye ndiye amefundisha huyu mwenye alikuwa hapa. Wakati yeye alikuwa bado hakutuacha nilikuwa nimekuwa mkubwa hata nilikuwa na akili nimeishi boma. So nimepata ujuzi kutoka kwake. The red Maasai sheep has many qualities. The sturdy breed adapts to dry climates, is worm resistant, produced valuable meat and requires minimal investment. It has both medical and cultural significance for the Maasai people. West Africa, Togo. Aloi is a livestock farmer of the Jalonki sheep, typical for this region. Il y a de cela 10 ans que nous élevons le mouton Jalonki. Le mouton Jalonki a de potentiel énorme par rapport aux autres races, c'est-à-dire qu'il résiste bien à la maladie de la mouche Son rendement en viande est deux fois plus élevé que le mouton Sahel. Les femelles arrivent à aller jusqu'à trois portées. C'est des moutons de bonne mère et c'est la meilleure race, sinon la seule qui est adaptée dans la sous-région. Back to Kenya, where the Sahiwal has been reared as cattle since late 30s, when it was imported from Pakistan. Diana Tala, a widowed Maasai woman, boasts the oldest Sahiwal cattle breeding activity in Kenya. She ranks first in Kenya in terms of size and quality of her cattle. Once my husband, when he died, I committed myself to continue with his work. The Maasai woman had uh, very many challenges. This kind of animal is economical, unlike uh, the previous animals that we started with on the farm. Uh, this is because, one, it gives you milk, it also gives you good quality meat, and you can also benefit from selling the bulls. When you look at milk from the saibol animal, it's very rich in butter content. Butter is very, very important to the Maasai people because that's where we get our cooking fat. In Africa, the livestock farmer stands at the center of rural development and economic development as well. They are the ones who provide the food security and they are the ones who are working in an environment which is very difficult and we need to ensure that any strategies which are looking at animal resources should target the farmer as they are the custodians and they are the our frontline actors in terms of food security in Africa. Animal resources for food and agriculture are important for millions of Africans. Africa has a treasure trove of indigenous animals. Key resources such as cattle, sheep, pigs, goats and chicken are crucial to economic development and to food security in the continent. Growing populations and urbanization, 
African economies are growing fast. Africa will count 25% of the global population by 2050. And the demand for animal-sourced food is projected to skyrocket across the continent within decades. The main challenges of animal resources in Africa is that they are not contributing enough to food and nutrition security for the population of Africa. The challenges also include conservation. Some of the breeds are actually endangered because of poor conservation measures. And also sustainable utilization by the farmers is not adequate because the farmers, they lack the capacity to sustainably utilize these resources. Aware of the crucial role of animal resources for hundreds of millions of inhabitants in Africa, the European Union has provided financial and technical support to the African Union, IBAR, through a project on strengthening the capacity of African countries to conservation and sustainable utilization of African animal genetic resources. The genetics project is strengthening the capacity of member states and regional economic communities such as EAC, IGAD, to develop strategies so that they can be able to conserve and sustainably utilize the animal genetic resources in their regions. And this we are doing by enhancing the capacity of the players in the animal resources sector so that they can conserve, utilize sustainably and also create an environment which makes the development of this sector possible. Despite their tremendous value, many African animal breeds are facing extinction or rapid genetic dilution. Genetic improvement programs by governments, NGOs, bilateral aid agencies and the private sector have introduced exotic breeds for crossbreeding, upgrading or replacement. Profitability has undermined clear policies, regulatory frameworks and long-term strategic thinking. L'importation des races exotiques pose une menace sur les ressources génétiques animales euh, locales qui sont adaptées à l'environnement. L'intervention de l'UABA était d'abord de faire l'état des lieux euh, des initiatives, des politiques en matière de croisement sur le continent. Et à partir de cet état des lieux, on a proposé des lignes directrices aux États membres qui présentaient des inconvénients et des avantages sur l'utilisation des croisements sur le continent. Two partners, the International Livestock Research Institute and Centre International de Recherche Développement sur l'élevage en zone subhumide, have implemented the AU IBAR several initiatives involving national research bodies, ministries and universities to better preserve quality animal resources for Africa's livestock. This includes introducing new animal reproductive technology and harmonized legal and technical frameworks governing the exploitation of genetic attributes of Africa's livestock. Since 2015, farmers' trainings and insemination activities supported by the Genetics Project have increased the conservation of Africa's heritage and future. <laughs> nilikuwa na kondoo kama wanane. nikaanza hiyo kasi kaendeleaisha sasa hivi ni ni tatu we started uh, the farm in 1972 with a bunch of uh, 50 zebuka animals and we embarked on a breeding program to improve uh, that indigenous cow to a better cow that would produce more milk and volumes of meat and uh, right now we have around 700 animals on the farm. La formation que l'ITRA nous a donné vraiment nous a vraiment outillé la recherche de l'agronomie togolaise a stabilisé cette race et a demandé à tout le ver qui voudrait bien le faire d'opter pour le mouton jalonqué. In addition to the status of animal genetic resources in Africa and strengthening the national breeding techniques, the AU IBAR Genetics Project supported member states to strengthen national breeding and conservation strategies, generating the concept of the gene banks across Africa. Stakeholders agreed to support five national facilities to serve as regional gene banks. These are CIRDIS for West Africa, University of Shang for Central Africa, National Gene Bank 
for North Africa, National Animal Genetic Resources Center and Database for East Africa, and the Department of Agricultural Research for Southern Africa. A gene bank is a laboratory that is used for cryopreservation of genetic material. A regional gene bank is, is used by member countries of a particular region to store genetic material as backup to the genetic materials which are stored in their respective countries. It is beneficial in the sense that the genetic material that is stored there, it can be used in future times for reconstruction or redevelopment of genetic or breeds. Genetic material can also be used for research purposes with regard to DNA analysis. AU Aiba funded the activity through procurement of cryopreservation equipment Equipment. This equipment included uh, equipment that is used for collection of genetic material, equipment that is used for processing of genetic material, and equipment that is used for cryopreservation of genetic material. AU Aiba also assisted member countries to acquire training and knowledge and skills in drafting of action plans for the implementation of Global Plan of Action for Animal Genetic Resources with a mandate to provide clear and complete information to decision makers. The Genetics Project has developed a continental tool to record the Animal Resources Database, the Animal Genetic Resources for characterization, inventory and monitoring. The ANGR SIMS tool is the first harmonized, ever comprehensive, digital paperless data capture tool for the continent. The advantages of this tool is that it provides a robust platform providing evidence for policy formulation as well as conservation strategies as well as identifying effects of rampant crossbreeding and also informing the socio-economic dynamics that are in play in the continent in relation to women, livestock and incomes generated from these populations. My favorite part is waking up in the morning, going to check on the animals, and when they come back in the evening, going to work, uh, check on them again. The time is ripe to focus efforts towards the global goal of zero hunger. We are building an Africa where animal resources will be instrumental to the eradication of poverty and hunger.